Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy software updates in Intune. So you can deploy software updates to Windows 10 machines. You can deploy to iOS devices. Right, so let's go to Microsoft Intunes. Actually, I'm here at Intunes. So you need to go to software updates right here. And under software updates, you can deploy updates to Windows 10 and also you can deploy updates to iOS devices. Let's do Windows 10 first. Or we'll just click on it and click on create. Let's give it a name. I'm going to call this YouTube. YouTube demo. Click on configuration. So there's a servicing channels. So you want to make sure you choose the right one. Um, there's a Windows Insider Fast. There's Windows Insider Slow. I'm going to choose the semi annual channels since most of my devices are semi-annual channels. Microsoft products and updates, you want to you make sure you, you check allowed. Windows driver, check allowed. Automatically updates behavior. You want it to automatically install at maintenance windows or maintenance times. Or you want to make sure. You can also do a restart at maintenance windows and time. Install and restart. Most patches will not take effect until you restart. So I highly recommend that you choose these, um, this one here, auto install and restart at main and windows in time. Active at start. I want to maybe put it after hours, 6 p.m. So the uh, start time, I'm going to put after hours, 6 p.m. And the end time, that's the mandatory time. I'm going to put um, 10 p.m. Restart checks, you want to check aloud. Make sure your the computer has battery level at 40%. Quality updates zero. That means it's going to install right away. Feature update is zero. That means it's going to install once it rele Microsoft release it. Delivery optimization down mode. I want to choose the second one by default. Recommend it. <clears throat> Uninstall settings. You can set the uninstall to from 2 to 60. So by default, it's 10. I'm going to keep it the way it is. Click OK. I'm not going to do the scope tags. Um, it's not required. So I'm going to click on Create. Once it's created, I'm going to have to deploy it. So in this case, I'm going to deploy it to all users, all devices. Or you can select the, uh, the group of uh, dev device group or user group. I'm going to choose Intune. Intune test group. Click select and click on save. That's it. That's how you deploy Windows Update in Intune. Thank you for watching and have a good day.